And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video we've got some few bits and pieces to go through, as it does say in the title, some huge Luis Diaz news. We're going to be going through a bit on Trent Alexander-Arnold, and we're also going to be going through why Mohamed Salah is not with the Egypt squad despite being called up, and also why not to worry, or maybe not to worry. Um, let's go through that first, Mo Salah. Okay, Mo Salah's situation has been well documented over the last couple of days or club couple of weeks, really. Liverpool have remained firm that the player is not for sale despite Al Hittahad uh, trying to go to extreme lengths to land him this summer. Of course, their transfer window ends on Thursday. Um, and as I said, it has been reported within the media, especially Sky Sports. They love this story, don't they? Sky Sports trying to push that they're going to go for a £200 million bid um, and all the rest of it. At the time of recording, there's nothing on this one. And I do sort of remain uh, on the affirmation that uh, Mo Salah won't be going anywhere this summer. And come the end of that sort of, or come the end of the international break, he will be in a Liverpool jersey ready to go to compete on all fronts however some fans are slightly worried because he has not been seen with the uh, Egypt squad for their African Cup of Nations qualifier against Ethiopia um, but I'm just here to say that it isn't tied to his future at Liverpool uh, Salah was one of nine foreign based players called up by Egypt for the clash against Ethiopia and Tunisia this month uh, but as his country do prepare to take on Ethiopia in Cairo uh, uh, the Liverpool forward basically hasn't been spotted uh, training with his teammates. Instead, Salah was uh, spotted with his family at Legoland down in Windsor following the 3-0 victory against Aston Villa. Um, but... Uh, the Egypt FA have confirmed that the decision on Saturday uh, with Salah then due to join his teammates on the friendly against Tunisia on September 12th. So basically, uh, they believe it's a dead rubber. And that Salah is not really needed for that game. So they just need him for the match against Tunisia. And that's when he will be reporting to duty. And as I say, on face value, this does kind of look a bit fishy if you dig into it. Of course, the Saudi Pro League sort of transfer window shuts um, very soon. And he's kind of not with Egypt. But I have to tell you, it has no direct link. It's just simply... Um, them wanting to not use him for a dead rubber against Ethiopia um, and that's simply it but he will be involved in that game against Tunisia so do not uh, be alarmed by that one. Just a quick one guys to tell you that this video is sponsored by Slick Gorilla. Slick Gorilla is the leading men's hairstyling brand that offers high quality and innovative hair products. It has built a cult following by blending trends, creativity and style successfully disrupting the men's hair care industry. They are offering all LFC News viewers 15% off all their products. So do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. Now, in other news, guys, uh, some huge Luis Diaz stuff. Luis Diaz, of course, away with Colombia, has came out and spoke about his, uh, well, his summer, really, as well. I know there has been a lot of players being linked and uh, with the with the Saudi bag. And to be fair, I've done pretty well this summer in, in reporting to you with all this sort of transfer news and all the rest of it. Um, and basically, Luis Diaz has basically stated that he was subject uh, to an offer from Al Hilal. Al Hilal, the sort of team that have kind of scattered gun approached everyone I think they started on the summer trying to get Lionel Messi then they've ended up with Neymar so it's all worked out well for them but it did take a long process on him getting or them getting to Neymar they were sort of linked with every single player um, and basically uh, he has stated that there was a 43.3 million pound offer um, and it was genuine um, from Al Hilal to Liverpool obviously Liverpool rejected it uh, but Diaz himself did not want to even entertain it which I think is pretty huge um, and as I said he's speaking about his time at Liverpool and speaking about those moments and speaking about that uh, proposed transfer that a lot of players are going for and said it's not something that he would entertain and he's happy at Liverpool this is what he said basically it's something I'm very proud of being at such a massive club like this one I am incredibly pleased to be here very much at ease and really happy I always try to enjoy every minute I've got some great teammates and I play alongside some big name players uh, who at one time I used to watch playing on TV so for me it really is like a dream come true and let's hope we can keep realising even more of those dreams and continue with the success I've known up to now I feel happy at this great club and I wouldn't change a single thing about its fantastic experience 
He said it's totally unique feeling and sensation, a real one-off experience. Knowing that you was walk into the pitch, you'll experience these amazing fans in Great Stadium, which is always up right behind us, and giving us support sometimes even gives you goosebumps. Honestly, nothing else compares, but I have my mind just focused on Liverpool, and that is it. Um, so for the day and age of players that kind of just want to go out for money and all the rest of it, um, you can see the dedication and commitment that comes the way of Lewis. Diaz and well um, it's, it's refreshing to see let's be perfectly honest um, but yeah I mean he did come out and state that uh, there was a bid in July for the player a 43.3 million pound offer and of course the wages would have been utterly crazy but as I said Luis Diaz himself has said that he didn't even want to entertain such bids so big thing there from Luis Diaz now in other news as well, we've got a bit regards to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Of course, we do know that Trent is injured, uh, picked up an injury in the, uh, in the most recent game against Villa, uh, came off. Jurgen Klopp sort of basically said that it wasn't too serious. Um, however, would be going for sort of scans, um, and there is hope that he'll be ready to go for Wolverhampton. Um, but, of course, he did report to St. George's Park on Monday. For those of you that know what St. George's Park is, it's basically where England do their sort of training. Um, um, and he was called up to the team. He basically shown up on Monday despite him being injured just to be in and around the place whilst it just shows his commitment, doesn't it? Commitment and dedication to really wanting to do well for England. Trent, um, fantastic. But yeah, showed up even though he was injured, just wanted to be in and around the place, uh, but was shortly sort of dismissed afterwards um, and now has left uh, on the Wednesday. But it just goes to show a little bit about him uh, and what his mindset is and where his mindset is at. Um, that basically he just rocked up. So yeah, interesting stuff there with regards to Trent Allen. Alexander Arnold. But yes, we are now in the international break. Players or the clubs or players, players, teams, uh, Liverpool players, a lot of Liverpool players are, of course, involved with the nation here on the channel during the international break. And no, you can't really get too much of a Liverpool fix, but I'll try and keep you up to date with everything with regards to the club. Um, whilst there is there, we'll keep you up to date with games, how players are getting on, and all the rest of it. Um, but any sort of uh, snippets of information that I do get, I'll come and bring it to you here on the channel. But today guys of course uh, don't worry too much about Mohamed Salah um, and of course Luis Diaz has spoken about his future as well so interesting stuff with regards to the football club um, but yeah that does bring us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content remember to check out our channel sponsors Slick Gorilla uh, they are offering all LFC News viewers 15% off all of their products as I said guys a hair product that I use on a day to day basis literally just started my hair just now so yeah go check it out um, I promise you you will not go back to your old products 15% uh, off for everybody. Uh, link is down there in the description. See you later, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.